Well, good evening, everyone. It's half past the witching hour, and I'm going to do some readings tonight for the ones who uh, signed up for a reading. So, uh, let me draw up their names here. And while I do, I'll keep talking and um, sitting out here on the back patio. It's nice and mellow. Peaceful night. Perfect night to come out and do some readings. Oh, okay. Well, I blew him up way too big. Okay, uh, first up, we have a request for, uh, oh, whoa, there we go. Whispers of Love. We also have requests tonight for, uh, oops, sorry, the Dark Mirror cards and I might have to reverse this footage because I think this might be yeah well, it might be backwards I'm not sure um I'll be reading from the golden tarot and uh there's also been requests for the runes Let me set this aside. No. So I can pull a dark mirror or a whisper of love card. Okay. Excuse me while I get used to this whole new uh, setup here. And it's light, it looks a little bit uh, brownish. But really, this is a, a piece of slab of white marble. It's not wood. Looks like wood on the film. From what I'm seeing, strange. I'm shuffling up your cards. Uh, the first one was for Kim Fitzgerald. Um, she wanted the uh, whispers of love. And Kim has. Oh, it says relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So, come on, focus. Oh, this camera. It's not going to focus. Anyway. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Consider the pattern that drives you to attract certain people into your life. You may find the next person you meet has similar qualities to your last partner. This is what you are energetically attracting. Once you learn the lesson, you will be able to attract healthier outcomes. 
It may be helpful to share the disappointment or pain from the past, whether from your current relationship or another period of your life. Be honest with yourself and address, and address situations as they happen. Acknowledge that you can no longer stifle your feelings. Know your strengths and your triggers. See your past relationships as opportunities to grow and figure out what makes you happy. You will have a better chance at a lasting relationship when you have self-awareness. Avoid idealizing past relationships as they can hold influence over future outcomes. Love will not magically make you feel worthy or happy unless you have achieved those values for yourself. In the card, a beautiful woman holds a hand mirror. She looks down at irises and a maiden playing a harp. The purple irises depict wisdom and power. It is time to cull through residual emotions of past relationships. It is time to break your precedence. Pre precedence, yeah, pre not precedence, but precedence. The harp is about striking a chord of truth in yourself. All right, there, Kim. Next up, we have runes for Sherry Knots. And later on down there, Thomas also asked for a rune. So I'll give uh, him one while I'm doing runes. And then we have several more readings after that. So stay tuned. By the way, you know it's cool to put in these lamps. This is just a simple little lamp. Doesn't come with a top or anything, just a wick sticking out of a ceramic. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Vessel of sorts. Um, but yeah, I put uh, citronella oil in it. To burn. It's like regular lamp oil, but it has citronella in it, and it uh, helps keep the bugs away. And it don't smell too shabby either, for that matter. Anyway, when I'm done this, I'll try to uh, remember to uh, give you a nighttime uh, show around. We've done a little changing. Plus we got all the lights lit up, or I do, Albert went to bed, but uh, I've got all the lights lit up out here so you can really see what it looks like at night. And with this camera, it's so light sensitive that it, it'll look probably like daylight now. Alright, here we go. For Sherry. Ooh, that's loud. Oh, I don't have my uh, pendulum. I wonder. I'm gonna go get my pendulum real quick, but uh, something about that rune, I have a feeling. Okay. Sorry, that took me a little while. Yeah, I feel a little bit in that one. No. Whoa. Whoa. 
I don't know if you can see this. Oh my god. This is actually pushing it. The pendulum sideways. Trying to, to push the bottom point away so strongly. So these didn't come up. This one did. Okay. You need protection right now. You really have to have your defenses up. Um look out something's on the way I'm not sure what just be prepared okay this might tell me a little bit more okay now there's something in here that uh, the runes are not saying. There's something that uh, is being kept out for whatever reason. It knows, or maybe it doesn't know, and it's not saying. Okay. But on the bright side, this could mean several things. This could mean um, there's a gift coming. Um, even maybe uh, something like a gift from God. Um, this can also refer to a partnership of some sort between you and someone else. Um, there's many types of relationships we can have. Anywhere from like a business relationship to a, a more personal, intimate relationship. Some sort of transaction between you and another person is going to go on and it looks pretty positive so overall this is uh, leaning toward the positive maybe this is a case of uh, you don't need to know or you shouldn't know this room but yeah keep your eye out for something uh, something not so nice and if it's not a partner, look for a gift. And it could be a gift of an unexpected form. We can get the gift of uh, knowledge, the gift of companionship, anything that means something to us, that someone is giving to us, can be considered a gift. Okay. Next I'm going to do uh, Thomas. Loud. I might have to find another surface. <laughs> okay, only one turned up for you, Thomas. Um, I 
Just curious. These two are light. Didn't get anything off of these three. But now I'm gonna try the pendulum on them and see what that gives me. With this, but I might turn this over later on just to see. But I did get all of these, some of the ones that I didn't think would. Okay, so we have, uh, first of all, Isa, which means ice. So think of anything really frozen in time, frozen, locked up, not moving. Um, or if it is moving, moving at like a glacier speed, you know, real slow. And okay. Here I see, um, I see a win of some sort, some sort of victory. Um, in an argument, you'll come out ahead, um, something you've been fighting against, you're gonna make out and win. Well, not make out, but you know what I mean. Um, next we have, uh, Belk, but, uh, and now this is like, a it's a fertility sign, but it doesn't necessarily mean having a child, you know, uh, you can have a fertile garden, you can have a fertile mind. Um, you can make things, you can create things, that, that can be your own form of fertility. Um, so yeah, there, there's a lot going on in that uh, area. Um, uh, I see uh, even a possible rebirth of something, something that was in the past might be coming around again um, or you might decide to pull out something and uh, give it a little crafty touch up and make it into something new give it a rebirth of sorts Finally, you have Rado, which refers to uh, a journey. Um, but it's not necessarily in a vehicle. 
a boat, an airplane, a car, it's not necessarily that kind of journey, or on foot, but it could also be a journey of of your soul a journey of your emotions through time there's many types of journeys we can take and they're not all actual physical ones so there you have it things are going to be slowing down um, it looks like it's going to get a lot more mental um, based uh, less physical except I see a high creativity period in here so I mean you'll be busy creating I think but not so much necessarily in travel Of course, with these gas prices, <laughs> I guess that would be a safe assumption anyway. Okay, and the last one I had, I, I called this one as a maybe, because I kind of felt it. And, let's see, um, okay, now this uh, room could refer to a closing. Um, you could be closing a deal with somebody. You could be closing a bank account. You could be closing a door. There's a lot of things that you could be closing. So, closing something also indicates that something else is opening. Look at it that way. Whether this applies to you, Thomas, you decide. Because, I mean, it's just one that I kind of felt deserved to be in there, but it did not show up on the uh, pendulum. So, I just turned it up anyway just to see what it might be. And Sherry's, I hope you're made yours made sense too. Now, let me see who the, who else is on the list. I have this all on my phone, so I gotta keep jumping back. Uh, next up is Pamela Tennant. And she wanted the Dark Mirror Oracle. Okay, Pamela. Or do you go by Pam? I'm not sure. Okay. We're back. Sorry. The, uh, the camera switched off on me. So, your dark mirror card will be... Well, this is kind of depressing. Oops. It's alone in the world. Okay. Alone in the world. In solitude I stand. In solitude I may shine. I made my home a cloister. My heart a chalice for the faintest breeze, and yet I stand alone, waiting for something to come back, 
When we parted ways, we promised to each other, I will wait for you, and I will come back. We may have used different words, like, it's just for a few months, or sharper, like, I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. Mind has lost hope. Body has lost memory. But our heart is still incomplete. It is shrined into a blessed feeling of longing and desire, innocence and hope but it is also entombed into a well of solitude and distance. It built walls to stand the passage of time, and the walls kept out everything. Will the, prin Will the prince come, or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning and an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun of a new day. The visual seed of it is, Under the morning light, in a closed and silent court, Paved with stone, laced by trees, A beautiful woman sits naked on a precious bench. Many blankets or drapes are around her, In color red and white, like discarded wings. Hmm. Interesting. At first glance, it looked like a pretty negative one. Alone in the world, that just brings up sad memories or sad images. And, but uh, that kind of looked more toward the positive side of it. a bit more toward the positive. But it had some good messages. They're not necessarily cheerful. <laughs> Sesame Street, it was not. Okay, now we have, now we have, there we go, the Golden Tarot. Okay, these cards are a little bit long. And very hard to shuffle. Okay. Let's flip these over. Or this. This one over. And you've got... Well, this one isn't numbered. I'll have to look that one up. It's just a man standing with a cloak holding a... what looks might be a pentagram. Can't quite make it out in this light. Hey, here we go. The Knave of Coins. Wearing a large plumed hat, the knave is shown in profile facing left. He holds a large gold coin at chest tight and appears to be examining and admiring its beauty. The pattern on his cloak matches the patterns on the clothing of the other court cards in his suit. <coughs> Scholarly, reflective, practical, capable of deep concentration, a profound curiosity and thirst for knowledge, not afraid to face adversity. 
Does that sound like you? Okay. I'm sorry, the last one's for Nancy Wu. Sorry, I'm just getting around to you saying that, Nancy. I'm just saying that to you, about you. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, do any of those uh, sound like you right now or in the past? Scholarly, reflective, practical, capable of deep concentration, a profound curiosity and thirst for knowledge, not afraid to face adversity. Any of those sound like you? Just curious. I'm always curious to know how the readings, uh, how well they apply to you. Okay. So now, let's go for a little walk. Or just a quick uh, swing around. Get this camera off here. My tripod was eating it. Okay. There's a gladiolus blooming. Love all that red and that purple. Down here we moved things around a little bit and we put in these African mask elephant ears. I call everything with an, an, a big large leaf like that an elephant ear. I don't know how you all do it. I like the, that purple one there. It's an elephant ear. And then there's one back against the wall. You can see, and I call that an elephant ear. Anyway, on around here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see more. Yay! See a lot more. And we have th these lights going around, the porch light on, and uh, also have uh, the fan light on. <laughs> Plus the lights, the uh, lanterns, and everything else. Man, it looks like daylight out here. Anyway, that's about all for now. Y'all have a blessed night. And I hope you uh, folks enjoyed your readings. I will uh, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.